Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. I think many of you might have seen this video coming because the crewmate design from Among Us is literally begging to be made into a sock plush. This is actually one of the easiest plushy tutorials I've ever done because you don't even have to attach any eyes or facial features. And best of all, it's also incredibly cheap. I found these socks in a discount shop for 1 euro which is pretty much the same as 1 dollar. You only need one sock per plush, so that comes out to 50 cents. Even after factoring the extra things like needle thread and stuffing, I'm confident that you can make these plushies for less than one dollar each. 2020 hasn't been the easiest year for many people, and it might be hard right now to find extra money to spend on toys and gifts. So from now until Christmas, I'll be posting a lot of low-budget DIYs that would also make great presents. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet, so you don't miss out on those. Start by taking one of the socks and turning it inside out. Then lay it down flat with the heel part pointing downwards. Now draw some outlines for crewmate legs, keeping it just above the heel. I'm going to use this type of sewing thread that was left over from another DIY which is coming out soon. I made these anti-stress books from a budget craft kit and it came with these threads which were already cut to the perfect length. These save you quite a bit of hassle measuring out the thread and looking for different colors. I'm going to backstitch along the line which is simply one stitch forward and half a stitch back. If you're new to making plushies then I strongly recommend watching this video where all the stitches are explained in detail. Once you're done, cut out the legs close to the outline but be careful not to cut through the thread by accident. I recommend doing this on the other side because you can easily see if there are any stitches that stick out a bit too far. Now cut a tiny hole in the face area and I have to emphasize the word tiny. This sock fabric is incredibly stretchy so making it any bigger will create a large hole that you might not be able to cover up later on. Turn the plushie the right way around using this opening. Next, take a ball of stuffing that's roughly the same size as the upper body of the crewmate and stuff one of the legs. This looks like a lot more than you think you need, but you'd be amazed at how much stuffing can fit inside these plushies. Then grab a big ball of stuffing for the body, and at this point you can also push it around to create the best shape. The important part is to have a round body, but with a relatively small opening for the face. I found it was useful to press the stuffing outwards through the gap like this, so it almost looks like a donut shape. Now find another sock for the faceplate or helmet. I'm using white, but I think pale blue or pale grey would obviously look even better. Trim off the top part so you get a single piece of fabric. Then cut out an oval shape about the size of your palm. Now sew a running stitch all around the outer edge. This is the most basic stitch that simply goes up and down. Place a small bit of stuffing to the center of your fabric and then pull on the thread so it forms an oval bubble. Then secure the shape by sewing a few zigzag stitches across the opening. This is just to prevent the fabric edges from opening up and it doesn't have to be fully closed. If you make this too tight, then the shape might turn into a ball instead of an oval. You can attach it onto the body using the same piece of thread. Simply sew one stitch on the face and one on the helmet and work your way around. This is called a ladder stitch and it's very useful for attaching two pieces together without revealing any thread. I also like to exit the thread from another part of the plushie like this and then cut it very close to the surface. This hides all the loose ends completely inside. Now take the top part of the sock that you cut off earlier. This is the perfect width for the backpack, so you just need to sew the two ends shut. When you're doing the second side, leave a very small gap so you can turn the sock inside out. Then add some stuffing through the hole and close it up. Lastly, attach it onto the body using a ladder stitch, and I'm going to sew this a small distance away from the outer edge. Now the green crewmate is done, and if you have any requests for favorite colors or cosmetics, then please leave them down below. These were so much fun to make that I might do a second video trying out more combinations. Since Halloween is coming up, I'm going to make the cat hat cosmetic as well. 
cut off the top of a black sock and sketch on some cat ears. I'm using acrylic paint, but another thing that works really well is foundation or concealer, and it doesn't have to be a light shade either. Virtually every skin tone is enough to create contrast against the fabric because they all contain titanium white, which is the same pigment found inside the paint. Then backstitch along the line and cut the shape out. I was hoping that I might be able to pull the hat over the head, similar to the face mask that I made in this video. However, I wasn't entirely happy with the shape, so I decided to stuff it lightly and sew it into place. To add eyes, I'm simply using a mixture of acrylic paint and white glue. I created a light orange shade and applied it using a toothpick. And now our Halloween crewmate is done. I'm going to make a pink crewmate as well, and I'm speeding up the tutorial so you can skim through all the steps again. I posted this DIY on TikTok a few days ago, and one of the most common questions is whether I would sell this. The answer unfortunately is no, because I generally don't sell any of my plushies, since the time it takes to make them, combined with the shipping costs from Austria, just don't really make them worth selling. They would end up costing way more than what anyone is willing to pay. However, particularly for this DIY, please don't make these crewmate plushies to sell because the game developers have specifically asked people not to offer unlicensed merchandise. This game is obviously so popular that many fans have been making their own t-shirts and merch, but of course, none of that money is going back to the developers. So please use this video for personal purposes only, such as making something for yourself or as a present for someone else. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and feel inspired to do some sewing. This is actually a really easy sock plush, so it's perfect for beginners. If you find a shop selling fluffy socks, then my tip is to just stock up on loads of different colors. You never know when you might need one for a plushie, and you can also make some super fast last minute presents. Be sure to check out my TikTok account as well, and my username there is macaroon. I actually uploaded this DIY a few days ago and it kind of blew up, so a big welcome to anyone who's watching this because they came over from TikTok. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!